What were your thoughts in your head before the race? Um, I always believed that I, I could win, but at the same time I knew that um, it was going to be very tough out there. Um, these guys by the side of me have been running superb all season, and I, and I did have a feeling that it would come down to the three of us. And um, you know, I was very fortunate to come away with a victory. They're great competitors, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just very proud to do it for my country. Thank you. How was the race for Javier? The race is too strong, uh, it's not easy, uh, and uh, I'm so very happy uh, to take again the, the silver medal. Um, it's um, the second uh, for my country, my people. Um, I'm so happy. Thank you. And LJ winning the bronze from Lane 8. My first major championships medal. Um, There's my fourth world champs. And, uh, I did it in the past, so I'm very glad. It was a nervous race. I knew there's going to be these five guys, and it's possible can take one medal. So bronze is it's good enough for me. Okay, your questions, please. Yes, they are in the middle of the sec second section. Do I uh, a medal today? Uh, sorry, uh, Ray McMahon and Ellen CBC. Do I medal today not only for GB but for for Wales? Um, maybe you have uh, something special you would uh, a message you'd like to send to people in Wales specifically. Yeah, obviously I've had a, um, a great amount of support from Wales and Great Britain as a whole. Um, I know we haven't won a gold medal so far in this championship, so it was um, it was amazing to come away with the victory. It was um, to win it for everyone back home. And, I hope the people of Wales are very proud of my achievements. Um, we don't have too many people at the top of world athletics at the moment. And uh, I had a great season last year. I'm so happy to bring another medal home to Wales. And, um, yeah, it's just a dream come true from my point of view. Thank you. Yes? Paul? Yeah. Uh, I understand that you started off playing uh, football years ago and you made a transition at some point to track and field. How was that transition made? Who really helped you make it? Yeah, I wanted to be a footballer, I did, until the age of 17, 18, but I had a lot of injuries and I just wasn't enjoying playing football, so um, I didn't have pushy parents, so I just decided to walk away from the sport, and um, when I went to university, I found, um, I found people who enjoyed training for track and field as much as I did, and um, I just fell in with the right crowd, really, and my first coach was called Darren Maynard, and he was ex-army, and he just instilled a good um, hard work ethic in me, and which I still hold um, good to this day, so it's all down to him, really. Thank you. Here in the, in the second row, please, on this side. Uh, Di, you, you mentioned you, your coach. I, I wonder if we can sort of hop onto your, uh, fast forward to your current coach, who's a sort of a, a man of some legend now. Get, uh, we sort of joke about him being, being an old grump bag and that, but you say a, a what he is like to work with, but and B it'd be really nice if you could ex try and explain sort of technically or mentally or, or what has he done to take you from where you were when you arrived where you when you arrived there to yeah, what champion you are now. I went to him as um as, as quite a good athlete to start off with. So he wasn't inherited someone who was um, very low down, but he's um he knows what it takes to become a champion. He has very good work ethic and there's no shortcuts in his training program and um, we work very much in partnership together. I have a lot of respect for him and he has a lot of respect for me and uh, we work well off each other and uh, considering he's 71 years old he keeps me on his toes quite a lot and um, yeah, he's very much a father figure obviously from where I live in Bath and uh, away from my family and you know, I enjoy working with him every day um, and yeah, his training program is very hard it is and um, he doesn't say too much, he doesn't but I like to. Uh, I don't like to be smothered with compliments, so you know, it's a very good partnership in that respect. And, and technically, um, what, what has he done for your, your race? Could you explain that a little? Yeah, I mean, um, technically, um, I've always been pretty good to a certain degree, and he's just um, just put the ice on the cake, really. And hard work is, is just his main theory behind the thing. And uh, you know, not, he's never run the race himself, so he doesn't understand what, it's, understand what it's like to be out there. So he has to rely a lot on my feedback. So. That's why we work very well together, so I can get good feedback and he can change things accordingly. But uh, the secret of what we do is that uh, every week we run the hurdle 10 and um, we just do that every
every week uh, throughout the year and um, just do things the hard way and that's, uh, that's his philosophy. Thank you. John? Uh, Di or David, can you explain, is Di a nickname of David? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, where I'm from um, in Wales, um, everyone's called Di over there, so Di Boyle, things like that, so right. that's where the nickname comes from. If I was from England, I'd be called Dave. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Dave, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you, you must have known, of course, of the uh, British tradition in the 400 meter hurdles with Dave Emery and uh, Lord David Burley, but, uh, and also the Alan Pascoe's and folks like that. Did that uh, play into your um, uh, desire or uh, decision to uh, specialize in the 400 meter hurdles? Now I sort of fell into the 400 meter hurdles. I was good at the sprint hurdles, good at 800, and it just seemed like the right event for me when, when I was old enough to do it. Uh, I've read a lot about those guys who um, achieved so much in their careers, and you know, they're a great inspiration, but obviously they were before my time. But um, yeah, it's great to read about those guys, and when you see people like that who achieve great things, it does spur you on and, and it helps you to believe that you can, um, you can achieve similar things. Yes, more questions, please? Here in the first row. LJ talked about five guys having a shot for a medal, and uh, in fourth place was Diego Sanchez, probably not one of the guys he thought would medal today. So um, I was just wondering, you know, Felix was for so long at the top of the hurdles, and to come in fourth today, what you guys thought of that? And if he has any influence for you, all, for you on, in the sport. He came fourth today, seventh for world champs. He's, you know, he's got uh, six finals, three medals. I knew he's got the experience, and I had to look out for him on my inside. I was at eight, he was seven. And uh, I thought he's going to start off fast. That's why I also went the first bar, the first bit a bit faster, so that he doesn't close up on me. And uh, yes, and for myself, it was, it was a good race. Yes, Paul? Uh, uh, one more question. The, um, <clears throat> you, you cannot uh, celebrate your victory tonight because you've got the relay tomorrow. But uh, is there a celebration in mind? Or would you get together with family, friends, or teammates? And uh, what, were you, what kind of things would you do to celebrate? Uh, yeah, I won't be celebrating too much tonight, but I won't be able to get much sleep, I don't think either. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, I do have the relay tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be running yet, so we'll discuss that tomorrow. But I can't wait to get back home and see my family and friends, really, and uh, I just you know, do what we do best in Britain and get pissed, I guess. <laughs> Can we quote you on that? No, I wouldn't say that. No. I think LJ has also relayed tomorrow. We still don't know. Oh, you don't know? We broke the SA record in the East with, uh, with like two unknown guys, 46 good guys, and, uh, but we will also decide the morning who's going to run. So we will see. More questions? In the meantime, maybe Dave, can you explain how was your race concerning the strides and patterns, stride patterns? Well, for me, um, I wanted to go off a lot more aggressively than, than I did. I think the um, I think the two faulty starts put me off a bit at the beginning. Um, I was disappointed to be done coming off the off the top end, and uh, I just really had to fight hard to make sure my uh, my stride pattern was on point really for the last um, two hurdles. And, once, once I got them, right, I had a lot of momentum and had to finish off strong. But, uh, you know, I didn't go to plan, but um, I'm still just very happy to come away with um, the victory, regardless of uh, how, we, how I went about it, really. Thank you. More questions? Yes, here. Javier. For Javier. Yes, yes. Javier, you have a history because you have the silver medal two times. So you repeat the same, and that is history. What about that? Tell me. I, I feel very happy because uh, I paid the, the two seater medal in um, uh, and never Italy in Puerto Rico. Um, never have one athlete to take uh, opportunity to the world championship. Um, I did it. Um, with the next. Uh, world championship, uh, I work very hard to take the, the gold medal, I try, it's not easy, because the all artists very strong, 
but it's not impossible. Uh, the, the next, uh, London, uh, London, the world uh, of the pink game. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. More questions? To our hurdlers here in the first row, please. Microphone here. Uh, none of the Americans did well in the final, and you know the world champion didn't make the final. Uh, do you guys think this is a changing of the guard and the hurdles? To whom is the question? All three. All three, okay. Dave? Um, yeah, I mean, the Americans haven't really been dominated on the circuit this year. I mean, LG has been fantastic earlier on in the season, and uh, it is nice it is to see fresh faces um, on the scene. Not fresh faces, but people who obviously aren't just Americans winning for a change. Um, just shows that the rest, of the, the rest of the world is catching up and um, 400 hills is a very open event at the moment and um, as El just said earlier there were a lot of guys in the hunt for the medals and it just shows that you know Felix Sanchez finishing fourth no one uh, would have thought that coming into the championships um, but it's very good for the sport it's very good for the event that um, there's so many people in contention and I think it's a good thing because it's not the usual faces obviously at the top and uh, obviously I want, in a few years time I want you talking about us three every, every time maybe and, uh, how the Americans can ever get a medal, that would be nice. <laughs> Javier, your comment on this question? You can speak to the microphone, the Spanish. Who speaks Spanish, they can understand. Uh, I, I tried to read it in English. I don't know what happened the, the other the, the, the team America maybe uh, have a problem the hurdle. Uh, I need to see the I need to watch the the video for for what, what happened. The, maybe the next year he, I can. Okay. Yes, you can say. It. She no, 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 no sé lo que sucedió con la carrera de, de ellos. Este, me imagino que tuvo tuvieron una mala técnica. Eh, mucha presión también, eh, no es fácil, eh, me sorprende mucho de Félix que siempre está en, 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 en ahí en la, en la final, en el mundial y siempre da su, su máximo, los dos latinos nuevamente aquí en el mundial, así que estamos muy contentos con eso. Well, okay. I don't really know what happened with the USA, since I was very surprised, I imagine it was a technical problem, they were also under a lot of pressure. Uh, I will have to uh, watch the videos to see what has happened, but I believe that they are a very strong team. Okay, thank you. More questions? Yes, John? Uh, here, uh, Taylor hit the 10th hurdle hard, so that was Taylor's problem. I'm not sure about Jackson. But I have a question for LJ. You ran 47.66 uh, twice this year, once at the end of February. Was that any concern that you might be peaking a little too early, or, or was that just, uh, you know, you ran it in, in your South African season and you were really not concerned about the timing of running that fast? I didn't really plan to uh, run my 47 so early in this game. I was about two weeks in spikes when I ran my first 47.6. Uh, peaking too early, um, well, I don't, I don't know run a 47 in the beginning of the year, they never. So uh, there's a lot of questions about why 47s and why so early, but um, well, I, stood, uh, I, stood, I still did well here to get the bronze, so I can't complain. Thank you. Last question. There at the end. Question to Javier. When you run, you wear a band on your head. Does it have any special meaning, or does it help for your race? For cancer awareness, I am funding a cancer awareness foundation, and this raises up this side stands for them. Okay, thank you very much. These were.